Void Glooms are one of the most wanted Slayer to level up due to many items being locked by its level requirement, like the Terminator. So today we are going to go over every single tier and show you what gear and strategies you need for each one. So let's get started. So let's start with the first tier and we're going to go over all of the gear you need for each tier and then the strategies used for them. So the tier 1 boss has 300,000 health and does 1200 damage per second. With a invincibility shield that activates at the start of the fight, 66% HP and 33% HP. During this you'll have to hit it 15 times before you can do any damage to it. The boss will also teleport randomly to you, so make sure you don't die when it does. Since the boss is pretty easy, you shouldn't have to buy a ton of new gear, as a normal gear usually works. You can use the Aspect of the Dragons, a Livid Dagger, or a Flower of Truth if you're struggling. If you seem to die a lot, you can also get upgrades such as a Power Orb, a Hot Potato Books, and a Healing Wand to try to keep you alive. Moving on to Tier 2, the health is increased to 12 million health and 5,000 damage per second. On top of that big increase, it also has new abilities. The first ability is the same as the last, where it has a hit shield that turns on at 100%, 66%, and 33% health. And it has increased to 30 hits compared to the 15 hits on the tier 1. It also has a new ability where it spawns beacons, also known as Yang Glyphs, after the boss reaches 50% health. You need to get rid of these by either breaking them by walking into them, or use an invincibility item like a Wither Cloak so you don't die when it explodes after 5 seconds of spawning. For the gear, a good setup would be 3 Bolts Necron and a Reaper Mask since this will give you good damage and good defense stats. As for the weapon, you should get a Void Edge Katana since his ability Soul Cry grants 200 ferocity against Endermen, which helps with its hit shield phase, however this does require Endermen 3 before using it. To keep you alive, you should also have healing items like the Wand of Atonement and a Power Orb or a Mana Flux if you can afford it. And you should be using an Enderman pet since it gives 30% less damage from Endermen. Or if you can't afford Enderman, you can use a damage or health pet like a Whale or Tiger. Next up is the tier 3, which now has 50 million HP and 12,000 damage per second. This boss still has the hit shield phase and has been increased from 30 hits to 50, and still throws the beacons that you have to destroy. Since the hit phase has been increased a lot, a lot of people like to use necromancy, and get summons with them since they tank damage and do lots of hits quickly to the boss. If you are using summons, a common mistake people use is leaving them out for too long when the hit shield is over, which gets them insta-killed, so make sure you are despawning them before that happens. The somewhat easy summons to get are the Wither Miners on floor 7 if you are going to use these. There is also a new ability added to the tier 3 boss which starts spawning heads or fixations at 33% health, which do 800 damage every 3 seconds while the shield is active. To get rid of these you just have to look at them for a second each. Now moving on to the gear, you should be using full destination armor with as many enderman kills as possible. For the weapon you should at least be using a Vorpal Katana or any upgrades on this sword. You should be using as many healing items as possible like an Overflux, Wand of Atonement, and a Florid Zombie Sword if you can afford them all. As for the pets, you can just use the same ones as before, either Tiger, Whale, or Ender Dragon if you can afford it. Finally, we have a Tier 4 Void Gloom, which we will go over the melee damage setup and the right click mage setup after. The Tier 4 now has a total of 210 million health and 21,000 damage per second, which their abilities have been increased as well. The hit shield has now been increased to 100 hits and the fixation's damage have been buffed by 250%, which is now 2000 damage per second. On top of the buffs, it also has a new ability that activates halfway through between the hit shields, where it can spawn fixations and throw beacons now. For the gear, you should once again be using full destination armor with as many upgrades and kills as possible. For the weapon, you should be using an atom split to do them efficiently, but you can still use Volvo Katana or any other version of that for much slower times. On top of that, you should have an Ender Artifact, an Overflux, Wand of Atonement, and for the pets, you should be using a Legendary Ender Dragon, a Enderman pet, or a Yeti pet. For the RCM gear, you should be using a Hyper Room with a full set of Final Destination on all Necrotic other than a chest plate, which should be on Loving Reforge. For the pets, you should be using an Ender Dragon or a Sheep pet for the mana, with a Overflux and Soul Whip. To beat the boss using your RCM gear, you should be using summons when the hit shield is up, and during Broken Heart Radiation, you should be using a Soul Whip with Mana Steel to regain mana while the boss is invincible. During damage phase, you should spam Implosion and make sure you break the beacons and look for fixations so they don't kill you. So that should be everything you need to know about Void Glooms. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe, because at 30,000 subscribers, we'll be giving away 11 Hyperions. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.